Galloway's presents Tech Talk at 3 Vision Aid Technologies Okay, hi everyone and uh, welcome to uh, Tech Talk at 3. It's Andrew Coleman here from Galloway's, uh, your Assistive Technology Coordinator. Really, really uh, pleased today to be joined by Jonathan from Vision Aid Technology, based here in the UK, family-run business. Welcome, Jonathan. How are you doing? Hello. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm not too bad. I'm a little bit hot. <laughs> Same here, yeah. Have you got any technology that can cool me down? <laughs> Unfortunately, not in here. I, I'd have it here if I did. <laughs> oh, absolutely. We So, I mean, just like historically, Galloway's, uh, we, we, you know, we've done quite a lot of exhibitions and events with with yourselves yep. over the years um this is kind of a, a new a new way of us doing events it, it is Zoom. indeed yeah um, but do you want to tell everyone a little bit about uh, vision aid and then i think we're going to get straight into some kind of demos of some of your latest products and things yes. like that Excellent. yeah yeah i've got a few, few few new things here to, to show you all but um yeah um so as Andrew said before, we, we are a, an independent family owned and run business. Um, been going since 1996. Um, and because we are independent, we're not tied to any one manufacturer. So we have products from different manufacturers, including our own products as well. Um, so yeah, we, we have a, a vast range of different things. So um, what we do, is we, we sell electronic uh, equipment, so assistive technology for people who are partially sighted and with no vision at all, or people who have dyslexia and things like that as well. Um, we also offer uh, free in-home demonstrations for people, which is a very important aspect of it, um, because obviously it allows people to try out the equipment first so that they know that they're actually getting something that can help them and benefit them. Um, because it's not always a kind of, um, one product for everybody kind of scenario it, it one thing could work for someone but it might not work for another person so it's always best to try these things out um so that's that's kind of our philosophy really is is, is trying to match the product to the person or person to a product i should say yeah that way um yeah um, and, and 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 at the moment like with 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 home visiting is that yeah something that you kind of starting to do again we are now in indeed yes so we've 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 got um jason uh, who you're very familiar with he normally comes to do the uh the exhibition things for you um and then we've got uh, ben so ben covers the south of england and and jason covers the north and they're starting to go back out again now with full ppe equipment so masks and sanitizer and all of that um so it's um, kind of baby steps to start with, but hopefully things will improve and get better. Um, cool. So the good thing today is if, if you guys see anything or hear anything that, you know, technology here today that you think could be useful and you want to try it out, then I suppose the message is give you guys a call. You might be able to come and demo yep. it or even send it out for them to try. Um, we do do that sometimes, yes. Um, I mean, with all of our products we offer, um, at the moment we're doing a 30-day um, money back uh, kind of guarantee so if people do buy a product and find they can't get on with it for any reason they can return for a full refund within that 30 days so it's normally 14 but obviously with all the circumstances we've extended that to 30 days um, the other thing I should say as well is we can offer uh, remote demonstrations for, for any products as well so like we're doing right now over zoom things like that we can do demonstrations for people that way as well um, excellent because yeah, yeah and the good thing i mean you, you obviously vision aid it's not just about vision it's also about audio stuff as well and i know that you guys yeah. have okay a, a wide range of technology that supports people with low vision needs and audible yes. needs and also people that just require audible side of things as well yes. like, like wearables and things like that so yeah we're well we're really excited to get let's get down to it what 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 tech have you got to show us today? okay what, what you, so what's i'm just new? gonna <laughs> I'm just going to switch cameras. Hopefully this will work. It's the first oh, time I've done it. Oh, we now. I uh, know. Hopefully it should switch. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know whether that monitor is kind of blowing that out a little bit. Yeah, like I say, it should be okay, I think, but I should be, I'll, I'll be able to lift it up further. So as I was saying before, all of our equipment is um, electronic assistive equipment. So we do varying uh, types. So 
one of the first things that, that people like is, is kind of a handheld device. Um, so something that uh, mimics a, a kind of hand magnifying glass, but with the electronic magnifiers, you can change the magnification um, and you can also do what you, what you call enhanced colors as well. Um, so it can make uh, text and things like that stand out a lot more. Um, so one of uh, the new products to our lineup of handhelds is the Clover 6. I don't know if that's too dark there, is it? For... Uh, it's, it, it looks okay. It looks okay. It look okay. Now that light's yeah. come on, it looks a bit dark. But yeah. Um, so with the Clover 6, uh, it's like I say, it's a new product. So it's got a six inch screen on this uh, and it's got a pull out stand at the back. So I can rest this down on what I'm trying to read. Hopefully that's, oh, it's blowing out a bit, isn't it? That's probably a bit better, is it? So it's because the lights are so bright on the back, it's making everything feel yeah, up from the camera. Right time, yeah. yeah, I don't know whether that's going to... It might look better so, yeah. when you do the reverse colours, when you do the... It might do, yeah. yeah. So at the moment, uh, obviously I'm looking at a newspaper, which is one of the worst types of print, really, um, to look at, as you, as you probably know. Um, but with this, we can change the colours, so we can switch. That's a bit better, actually, isn't it? So you've got the yellow and black there. The colours do look a lot better. I don't know if I can put that a bit closer. Yeah, yeah. Just got just that rest in the right newspaper, yeah. Yeah, so it's just rest in the newspaper. Obviously, we can make this bigger and we can make this smaller, depending on, on what size people want, obviously. Good thing with this one is it is a touch screen as well. So if you want to swipe around to get, so if you're used to a smartphone or anything like that, you can pinch to zoom as well. Um, so it's got dual controls there. So you've got your buttons as well if you want to. Um, it's all full autofocus, so no matter what you're trying to look at, if you're moving from one surface to another, it refocuses itself. Um, we can freeze the image as well, and then if we want to zoom in and look around, we can do that as well. Hopefully this is coming across okay on here. It is, yeah. Um, yeah just using your finger to go to, just using the touch yeah. screen there to move yeah, it around. Yeah, so you can zoom in and out and do what you like there. Obviously we can, we, we, like I said before, we've got lots of different colours we can use. Well, that doesn't look very good on the camera, but yeah. Um, as, I, as I say, it's, it's, it's uh, there we go. So you've got like greens and things like that. So it, it's, it's just finding what's best for the individual, really. Uh, and then, of course, we can set it back to standard colour as well. So if we want to look at photographs, uh, that's probably not the best one either. Newspaper print, like I say, is not the best quality for looking at, especially with photos and things like that. Um, so other things we can do, we can put uh, like reading lines up. Uh, so if I just put that back to that. So we can have reading lines, yeah. So this can help us, uh, yeah, follow along. Uh, yeah, so we keep our line of, of, of what we're reading. So if it's longer bits of text we're trying to look at, it makes it a lot easier that way. And we can change the, the orientation of that. We can also do a mask as well. So if we want to block off. Right. Um, okay. So just lines that's just text. allowing you to see one line of text at a time. It is. Yeah. So obviously it depends on on the on the person's eye condition because some eye conditions obviously if you've got a lot of text together it can all jumble about, uh, make it very difficult. So this you can obviously pick out uh, a line at a time uh, to make it a lot easier. Um, and that is kind of a theme that runs along most of the handheld devices. So obviously we've got varying size ones. So we start from a three and a half inch screen um, all the way up to ones with 12 inch screens. So it all depends on what size text um, the person can see um, and, and yeah, to how much you can fit on the screen at a time. Yeah. Um, I think with a model like that, you're going to be spending a bit more time you know, moving it about, aren't you? You, you know, are, you, yeah. yes, yeah. But I mean, it's nice and, and quick. It's got a very good camera on it, high refresh rate. So when you're moving, I don't know if it comes across very well on here, but when you're moving it, it stays nice and clear. There's no blurring or, or stuttering or anything like that. Um, okay. The other good thing with this is if I fold the stand back in, oops, press the button that I didn't want to, uh, we can actually pull this out and we have the handle as well. So if you're out shopping or anything like that and you want to look at a shelf, let me just see yeah. if I can get that to... Okay refocus that way he's not going to do it is it oh technical difficulties now um but yeah you, you get the idea obviously if you want to um it's definitely that light is reflecting back from the newspaper that's the thing so if you want to look at like shelves or anything on a supermarket you've, you've got the choice of holding it with a handle as well um so that makes it a lot easier to hold uh when you're walking about and that kind of stuff so 
Um, but like I say, with the, uh, the built-in stand, it puts it at a nice angle so that when you're trying to read anything, um, yeah, you're not straining to look over or anything like that. It's nice and smooth and easy to use. Okay. Um, so as you mentioned before, obviously, if anyone who wants any more information about any of these products, then they can get in touch with us. Um, so you can either call or go on the website and there's a lot of stuff there. I don't know. Do, should we give out numbers and stuff at the end, Andrew? Or? Yeah. Yeah. We can, yeah. Give, we can give those at the so end. So we can give, yeah, give you the information at the end, but obviously if anyone wants any help or advice on any of the products that we do, that's absolutely no problem at all. That's what we're here for. Uh, and we will help people any way we can. So, um, yeah, so that's a nice slim design there on that. It comes with, if I just bring it here, it comes with a nice padded pouch as well. So you can put it in there. So it makes it nice and it, oops, sorry, nice and easy to carry around with you, take wherever you, you go into supermarket or wherever, eventually when everybody's out <laughs> fully again, um, yeah, go in like your friend's house or on holiday eventually again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's really nice little unit there. Um, so the price on that is five nine five. Um, like I say, some of these products they start from one hundred and forty nine pounds and then go up. I mean, a lot of you may be familiar with some of the products that we do already, or maybe have some. Um, but yeah, it is uh, as with a lot of assistive technology, the prices do vary, <laughs> as Andrew knows. Yeah, I think I think do you know I think. I think price sometimes is sometimes we hold our breath sometimes when we talk about price, but actually yeah. I'm kind of like, do you know, um, if the, if the product is right, um, sometimes the, you know, the, the, the price can not always be the main factor that yes. you know, is, makes you consider whether you're going to buy it or not. Sometimes like, if it's the right product and you, and you have to spend more money on it, um, sometimes that's what's mostly relevant really. I think sometimes we yeah. look at things too much with prices, you know, in mind, whereas this, yeah. this is my budget. And I know everyone's got a budget, but sometimes it, it should be Just what, what fits the purpose for what you, you know, that you need. Yes, essentially. exactly. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll do, then we'll discuss the um, price afterwards and then think about <laughs> it. But absolutely. I've just, if I turn my screen off there, can you still see me? Yeah, you can. Does that look better now? Cause yeah. I don't know. Hang on. Let better. me put it back on and I'll get it, get it, um, lined up properly but yeah so uh, there we go yep, i'm just thinking it's the shot. glare from that i think is uh is, is i think making so it yeah so if i turn that off like that is that okay it looks a lot better yeah okay brilliant that's right so so just just to recap that that oh, handheld yeah. magnifier then that was yep, the, so the handheld the so this is it's called the clover six that's right yeah 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 so yeah the clover clover six um like I say, if anyone wants any information, we'll give out a uh, number and everything. And also we do do a, a, a product brochure. So if people want one of those sending out, that's no problem as well. Um, and it's got all the information about the different products and pricing is in there as well, which is, is very important as well. So <laughs> we don't hide anything. That's the thing. It's, uh, it, it's good for people to know, obviously, what the prices are and things like that. And uh, yeah, so that's all in there. Um, so... Moving on to another new product. So this has just come out, um, well, a month or two ago. So it's called the Clover Book. So this is kind of the big brother from the handheld. Um, so this is, is what we call a transportable video magnifier. So it, it basically folds down flat um, and it's got a handle on here so we can carry it around. Um, so it makes it easier to, to take around if you need to, or you need to move it from room to room, say, or something like that. Makes it nice and easy. Um, so we can switch it on on the side here. So this, it's, uh, as I say, it's got an all-in-one unit. So it's got a camera underneath. Uh, and then obviously we can bring the picture up on the screen. Um, does that look okay, Andrew? Yeah, that, look, that, look, that looks okay. You might yeah. need to zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, I can the... zoom in. So obviously yeah. it's a minimum magnification there, um, but we can zoom in. So at the minute we're in, in just the standard color. So if you want to look at photos, obviously, like I said before, the print on newspapers is awful. Um, but say if you've got your family photos you want to look at, obviously you can do it in the, true, in the normal colors. Um, and again, we've got enhanced colors, so we can change between different ones there. So you know, black and white, yellows, all the normal things really. Um, but obviously when we're zooming in, it can make it 
so it stands out uh, and you've got yeah. that high contrast there yeah um so this particular device there's three different models of it so we've got the Cloverbook Lite, which is basically exactly as it is here. So we, we put something underneath, we can zoom in, zoom out, change the colors. Um, we can pan as well along with the, uh, the little joystick okay, so here. Okay, so some little buttons there on the, just underneath Yeah, so we've got a joystick in the middle here. Right. Um, so we can look around the image. So uh, Yeah, and then we could change the colors, that kind of thing. And we've got the magnification as well. Okay. Um, this one I've got here is actually the full version with everything on it. So you wouldn't have these buttons on the light version. Uh, but it's obviously easier for me just to show the different functions of, 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 of each model, just using this one. Um, and we can do the same things uh, like before. So you can freeze the image, that kind of thing. So then if we want to zoom in and look around, we can do. So if you want to look at something in more detail, makes it nice and easy to do that. Uh, and then, of course, we can do things like the lines as well. So, so if we're trying to read a newspaper like here, if I zoom in, um, yeah, we can obviously follow along line by line. Yeah. And again, we can switch between the different ones. So it's got the same kind of functionality as the handheld one. Obviously, it's just on a very bigger format. Um, yeah, so as I say, the light one is just exactly is, is here. So you've got yeah, your magnification, color controls, that kind of thing. So you just put your document underneath and then you, you can magnify it. Um, so the next one up from that is called uh, the Cloverbook, I've got to get this right, Cloverbook Plus. So basically, that's everything that the light can do, but it gives us a distance camera. So um, say if you want to look outside at your garden or anything like that. Um, I know people that have got like bird baths and they like to zoom in and look at, look at the wildlife. Um, you can do that. So we can then switch... Or spy on your, or spy on your neighbours. If you wanted to, I wasn't going to say yeah. that, but you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, it's not very interesting at the moment. I haven't really got anything to look at over there. I should have thought about that, but um, yeah. So well, there's a board set up over there, but um, so, so we that's can, your we, camera there. It kind of it's on like a pivot, so it yes. kind of pulls out like it almost. To me, it's like it almost looks like a um, like it, an aerial. Like it a, is. Oh, that's, yeah. That's exactly what we say as well. But the good thing is, you see, it tucks, tucks away to the stand, so you haven't got to mess about. You haven't got to keep um, charging it or anything like that. It just runs off the power. That's the other thing I didn't mention, actually. This is battery powered as well. So hence why you can, you can take it around from room to room or, or take it away with you if you want. So you just recharge it back up again, um, and you get about, I think it's about four hours, charge, or four hours out of one charge. Um, but yeah, that's the beauty of this camera. See, so it runs from the power from the actual unit. So you haven't got to mess about with cables or charging it or anything like that. Um, and then we can just use a little collar to move around. Can we see that? Can you see the camera okay on there? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. okay. Because obviously I haven't got the screen on at the moment. I'll put it back on in a minute. But um, yeah, so we can move this around where we like. We can even do self-viewing as well if we want to. I won't put you through that though. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, so people want to do makeup or have a shave or things like that. Any personal kind of grooming, you, you can use it for that as well. Um, so it makes it, it nice and, and, and useful there. So the good thing is obviously we can pivot this wherever we like. So you've got a lot of flexibility there. So we can move it up and down, yeah, and left and right, things like that. And then obviously we can switch back. Oops, yeah, switch back to the document camera when we want to as well. So the other thing that the, um, the plus gives us as well is then touchscreen support. So the light doesn't have a touchscreen. You just use the, the controls on the bottom. But with uh, the, the plus version, we, again, same as the small version, we have the touchscreen control. So we can pan around, we can zoom in and out, that kind of stuff. Um, so it, it, people can then choose what they want to, to use. So you can still use the buttons and the, and the dials here, zoom in and out. And change the, the colors obviously things like that um, uh, or you can use the touch controls to pan around so that's that's quite useful there some people prefer that uh, and it's just kind of easier to navigate around um, so the final version of this is called the Cloverbook uh, Pro so that has everything that we've we've seen already um, but it also allows you to capture a page and then have it read out loud to you as well okay um, 
so you could take a picture of the, the text and then it, it reads it out loud. Um, I will say though that obviously we've got devices that um, are, are their only job really is for, for the text to speech. So they are a lot better at doing that kind of stuff um, than devices like this maybe. Um, because obviously this is trying to do a lot of things um, in one unit. But I think it's, it's, it's not just. I think it's, I was just going to say, I think it's that, you know, for people who are um, low vision um, that yeah. still kind of want to read. Yes. Um, but, but then you're kind of on the borderline of needing, you know, speech as well. Exactly. That's it. Yes. Yes. So this is definitely more for people that want to carry on reading themselves. And I mean, obviously, the good thing with this kind of device is you can handwrite underneath as well. So if I change back. So if you do, if you want to do crosswords, things like that as well, you can carry on doing that. Whereas obviously the text to speech won't help with that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, uh, with this one as well, I don't know if it'd be useful for anybody, but with the, 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 the plus version, you can do split screen as well. So you can um, have the distance camera and the close up camera on at the same time. Oh, okay. Um, it's just an extra kind of function there. So you can see you've got the close up camera and then the distance camera going at the same time there. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, as I say, it's uh, the so big difference. So can you do a little bit oh, of speech sorry. on that paragraph? Oh, I can try it if you uh, like. Um, so if I go. press and hold there. So when we go into the text-to-speech mode, it does go into A4. Wow, um, that's so a game changer because there's a lot of there's a lot of kind of uh, magnifiers out there, electronic ones with the speech that don't give you the say, you know, don't give you the A4 view. Yeah. Um, this so if I go lift this up a little bit, we can get get the A4 view. Now, obviously, I right. think the further further away we get, it might not pick things up very well. But we'll try it, shall we, and just see. That's really good. I mean, obviously, the thing to remember is with newspapers, the like I said before, with the magnification, the print is awful. So um, we can try. Let's just see what. Yeah. So. What we can do is we can either have it in the in the, the actual picture mode, so we can see the picture we've taken, so I can zoom in and then look around. And if I press and hold. I don't know if you can hear that, can you? Yeah, almost. There we go. Oops. So, yeah, as I say, you can have it in the, the picture there where you can change it to text mode where you can see what it's actually taking a picture of. And then you can, uh, yeah, you can zoom in and, and I think you can change the colors as well. So you can actually follow along as well while, while it's reading, which is the good thing. But um, as you can see, there are a few little errors there. But overall, because of the size of the text here, uh, and, and the newspaper's got quite a lot of crinkles in it and things like that. It, it's done a pretty good job. So um, for a device that uh, obviously is mainly for kind of the visual side of things, so if people want to carry on reading themselves, um, it does an okay job really at doing the OCR as well. So that's that's quite good there, I think. But um, I don't know if that came across okay on there. Yeah, I think the volume was a little bit low, but we could hear it coming. It's, it's come on my headset, through. you see, so I'm trying to get the headset close to it, but it's um, it's a bit difficult, but hopefully I can try and get the others. I think what way. I like about this model is the the way the, the screen is kind of mounted quite high up, so, you know, you've got yeah. a better viewing angle of it. Is That's it. it. So, you, so you, well, you can move the screen, you see, wherever you like, so depending on whether you, you sat yeah. down or if, if some people stand up sometimes to look at things, you can do that. And the good thing is, no matter what angle you put it at, the camera compensates and, and straightens the image out. Um, so, so, like, if you go, yeah, a bit further up, it will still appear straight to the screen, which is a really good thing as well. So, there's some yeah. devices don't do that, so you'll it'll throw it off and it'll look kind of, well, a bit like what we call Star Wars effect sometimes where it's going thinner up to the top and... Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Like you know, like credit, when the credits, credits roll on that. Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but obviously this straightens everything out. So it always looks nice and clear. That's the good thing about it. Um, yeah. So as I said before, obviously it's battery operated. 
Um, and then it folds down. And it comes with a nice padded case as well. If I just fold this down, I'll just show you that. Someone's just asking about portability, you know, like how heavy, how heavy is it? Ah, oh, so I've, done, I've got my brochure here, actually. I'll just, I'll tell you. <laughs> I can't remember all of the stats off the top of my head. That's the problem. Um, so it's, it's 2.4 kilos, which is 5.3 pounds. Okay. Um, so it has its own built-in handle here as well. But like I say, it does come with a padded case as well with a shoulder strap on it. So, um, but so obviously it depends whether people are just moving it from room to room or they're actually packing it away to take away uh, to another place or another location. So, um, but obviously the, the, the case with the shoulder strap makes it a lot easier to carry. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's not too heavy. That's the thing. It's not as heavy as, as say like um, a big desktop unit, which obviously takes up a lot more space and um, needs to sit on a table and then you leave it there. So you, you've got limited options really with that. I mean, they're okay, obviously, because they have bigger screens and things like that. Um, yeah. But obviously this yeah. is more of a portable uh, solution. Yeah. And you can, you can use that while it's charging and it's got an internal rechargeable battery, hasn't it? It, it yeah. has, yes. I've just put my screen yeah. back on there. But yeah, so the actual battery, I think if I can... Oh. Yeah, well, anyway, the battery's battery is here and you can change it as well so um, oh, right, okay you can actually get an extra dock right. to have a, a spare battery in so you could charge the spare battery up and then just swap them over okay um, if you wanted to but you can yeah, use it while it's charging come with, yeah some, some of you know other comparable models don't come with spare batteries and you know you basically you've got that internal battery <laughs> and, and that's it so that's quite yeah. good that you can so i don't know if it comes with it it comes with the one battery built in, obviously, but I think you can purchase an extra battery in the charger extra okay. if you want to. Yeah. Um, but like I say, you can charge it up while it's, um, while it's on anyway and you're going. So that, that's, that's not usually a problem there. So. <laughs> and scenarios where this might be used, I suppose, if you've got, you know, if you're at home and space is limited and you don't want one of these big magnet, you know, these that big electronic CCTVs, this is a much more compact way you know, piece of equipment that's going yes. to sit on your tabletop. Um, exactly. That's the thing. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And you can pack it away when you're not using it, that kind of stuff. So, um, right down. yeah. Yeah. Cause as I said before, if you've got like a big desktop unit, it's there and it stays there the whole time. So then you can't really do a lot with it. You can't move it out of the way really, or cause they're normally very heavy as well. I imagine like, I, I imagine probably like an, it for, for, for children or people in the classroom, it's a great product that can go on at, you know, a child's desk. They can, they can use yes. to look at the board that, you know, they can, they can. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I mean, obviously with that one, it covers all areas because it's good for home users, good for work. And like you say, good for education as well. So okay. it's, it's a good all round kind of unit. Um, yeah. So um, I think now we'll go on to another visual one. So um, I know you mentioned a little bit earlier about wearable technology. Um, so one one product that, that that we do is called the Iris Vision. I think I can, it comes across okay there. So basically, this is we do quite a few different uh, wearable pieces, but this is um, kind of the most popular and the one that seems to work for a lot more people, particularly with people that have got um, macular degeneration. It seems to work very well. So basically, what this is, it's a headset. Um, a VR headset, virtual reality headset with a phone built into the front. Um, so it uses the camera from the phone to allow you to view your surroundings. And then on the inside, we've got the screens. It's going to be very difficult for me to show this. So it's more yeah, of a yeah, description, no, we, really. We um, that, yeah. So basically, we've got two screens on the inside. Um, and then you can view whatever the camera is looking at on the screens on here. And then it allows you to kind of to magnify the environment around you. Um, they're great for kind of hobbies that kind of stuff because it keeps both hands free um watching tv that kind of stuff as well uh, and this particular one also has features like uh the, the text to speech as well so you can take a picture of text and then it'll read right. it out loud and display it on the screen got different reading modes so again you've got the different colors that kind of stuff um another good thing with this is got the video player so you can watch uh, videos from youtube directly onto the screens and magnify it and look around it's a bit like you're at the cinema <laughs> it's yeah. quite good yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, it's more about like an interactive kind of thing there um, and you can do things like uh, image storage as well so you can take 
uh, pictures of, of your family or, or if you're going out on the day out and everything and then look back at them later and you can zoom in and you could look around the whole picture so it allows you to to kind of be immersed in that kind of environment there which is, is really really useful um trying to think what else it's got on there now i think that's everything there but um yeah so essentially what this can do is, is especially with uh, macular degeneration obviously you have that missing vision central vision um this can help fill in those areas uh where that uh, root, uh that vision is is missing now obviously these do require a certain level of remaining vision to be able to function um and we normally go by what's called the visual acuity so um some of you may be familiar with that uh, but in america they do it um, with 20 over another number so like 20 20 vision which is the term there um, over in the UK it's normally six over another number and then that gives us an idea of whether or not something like this could work um, and my gran actually uses one of these she's got age-related macular degeneration and she's gone really really well with it um, some people can be put off by the size of it thinking it's a bit bulky um, but it is something you definitely get used to uh, and the good thing with this is you if you wear glasses um, for uh, distance viewing, you can actually wear them while you're wearing this device as well. Right, and it blocks okay. off blocks off any of the light around as well, so it can really help immerse you in that in that environment and and help you kind of concentrate on what you're looking at as well. Um, it's amazing what people you know use these types of oh, VR headsets for. Yeah, you know, um, obviously ma mainly kind of static activities where you stood in one place, you know, yes, not, it, we, you probably must but, stress that you don't You it's not a mobility <laughs> device that you're going to use. No, across the road with, but it can definitely help breaking down some of those uh, barriers. Maybe, I mean, watching sport on the TV, you know, use it definitely, in a live show, yeah. maybe, you know, exactly. Yeah. And we've had people uh, live football matches and things like that as well. So um, it allows you to, to kind of zoom in and, and, actually get more detail out of what's around uh, and i mean the impact that this has had on, on some people as well i mean even my gran as well so she saw my children for the first time so she could actually pick out detail in their faces and things like that which obviously was missing before um now obviously this is the kind of thing that people do need to try first um to, and we need a kind of a, like a bit of background about the person's eye condition and things like that first but um Hence why we say we offer free in-home demonstrations for this sort of stuff, because obviously it's something that people do need to try first. Uh, yeah. yeah, just to see whether it works. But for people that it does work for, we've had really, really good results with it. Um, and it's been life-changing for, for those people that it does work for. So, yeah. Cool. So let's see, is that Iris Vision? So this is called the Iris Vision, yes. It, yeah. uh, we can see that there. Yeah. Oop on the front okay. of it. camera's backwards so it's a bit odd yeah. to work around yeah. but yeah so it's iris vision um i mean something like this again obviously like we were saying about price before this is is 2895 pound so it's not a cheap device but as i said it can change people's lives because obviously it allows them to to do things that they thought they never could do again or see things that they thought they could never see again um yeah i'm, I'm just thinking if you know for those maybe those people that I haven't been on holiday this year or, you know, yeah. you, you know, you haven't had that chance to spend that money on something. Yeah. Maybe you might think, you know what, I haven't been on holiday this year, but I'll, I'll get myself an Irish vision instead, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it. Yeah. 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 I like your sales strategy there. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> but but again, no, I mean, again, again, it's the, the price thing is, is the unfortunate side of the thing, but yeah. it's actually, this is the product. This is what it does. It's very niche. Yeah. Um, exactly. Right for you you know you have to think about whether that price is 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 value for how you're going to you know use it but people exactly buy new cars that. they buy new you know they go on holiday buy expensive jewelry you know this is yeah. a piece of technology that's going to do a lot for you exactly and and this is this is where like um as a, as i'm stressing a lot obviously people trying these things um it's where if people do try it and they just realize how much effect that can actually have on their lives i mean obviously as as many of you probably know um with with different types of technology or even the simpler bits just any any kind of gadgets or anything that can help make things easier is a big a big thing really isn't it yeah um yeah um obviously this is on the other end of the spectrum to some of the items but yeah uh 
so if I, like I said, it's a bit difficult to kind of show that working because obviously it does uh, involve obviously immersing yourself in that, but um, yeah. Um, so uh, another device uh, that has just recently come out as well um, is a, a text to speech device. So it's called the Orcam Read. Now I know you had uh, Lauren on, didn't you, last week from Orcam? Yeah. She so, came. so a lot of you, I know you're familiar with this, Andrew, but um, many of you, you may be as well. But well, um, we got I'll, some new, we got some new people on today that you know won't have won't have maybe seen it last week. So okay, it'd be, yeah, it'd be good but, to do just a quick little demo of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah, run through it. So if I hold that ooh, close to the camera, so this is kind of like um, a highlighter pen, I would say, isn't it? Like that kind of size. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but basically, this is a, a text to speech reader. So what you can do with this device is it's got a camera on the front here. We can point it at, at any printed text. So newspapers, magazines, books, notice boards, menus, anything like that. Um, and it could take a picture of that and then read it out loud to you. So it's got a built in speaker in this, but you can also plug in. It's not focusing very well, though, is it? We can also plug in just standard headphones as well. So if you want to keep it private and listen privately you can do that um so as i said before obviously we, we'd point at, at what we want it to take a picture of uh there, there's two different ways we can do it so we have a frame which can we could basically do uh an a4 page at a time if you want or we've got a pointer which we can pick out say if we wanted to pick out a column on a newspaper um we can do that i'm just going to turn that off my monitor off again well uh, there we go. That's probably a bit better, is it now? Um, so if we want to pick out a single column, we can do that as well. So if I hold this up, so I've got the frame at the moment. I don't know whether we can pick that up. But then if I take a picture there, Progress hold that closer to my mic. Rory Dewey went to knee US to undergo experimental treatment. A British man has regained his sight thanks to an experimental treatment okay. that could give... I don't know if that's coming across, is it, over the microphone there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah, so, so again, like, obviously, like I said before, we've got the frame so we can move closer if we just want to pick out a certain area of text or we can do like a full A4 page with that. Yeah. If I um, now press, so we've got two buttons on the top here so we've got a plus which increases the volume, volume and then a down. Volume down so we've got full volume control if we press those together it changes um the pointer here so now we've got a mouse pointer a little arrow so i could take a picture then of, of just a certain area a British man has regained his sight thanks to an experimental so now it's reading down this first column there we go so it allows us to, to pick out certain areas of text if we want to, or we can have the whole thing read to us. Um, so, so really, it's a very, very useful little gadget. And as I said before, obviously, it can read any printed material. It can't read handwriting, unfortunately. Um, but, but any printed material, it can. So uh, even off, uh, say, like a computer screen or a phone screen as well, it can read. Um, so it's a very, very nice little portable device. So it's obviously battery operated. You just recharge it back up again. Um, yeah, but very, very portable, light, easy to use, isn't it, as well, Andrew, really? Absolutely, yeah. I yeah. think um, I was quite surprised that even somebody, you know, with no vision, yeah, um, you, you, there's not a lot of guessing work that you have to do. It's, you know, you, you, you kind of hold it up flat above, yeah. a, above a document. I'd say I'd probably say, you know, I'd probably say, you know, Did, half an arm's length, you know. Yeah, that definitely feet, about like that, that, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and then it, it does it take the picture, gives it a go. The only thing it does kind of struggle with, as a lot of text reading software does, yeah, is 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 reading uh, down uh, columns and and you know your columns and your rows and not yes. reading across and down. So no, I think know, that's that, the that, yeah that is the only thing it struggles with at the moment. Yeah, I think so. And we hope we hope that they'll bring a software update out for that. But that's if, yeah. if you use it for a bank statement or a restaurant menu. Depending on how it's laid out, you might find yourself um, having to do a bit more guesswork. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes, yeah, because obviously it's natural ways to read down the columns. So um, I think because I was watching that, I did watch actually uh, Lauren on on last week. So I watched the vid YouTube video, um, and I think she did mention about the new software, didn't she? She did. For this. Yeah, because I'm not sure. I wasn't sure yeah. what I, what I could say and what I couldn't. But 
if she's mentioned it, that's fine. So um, about the smart reading function, yeah. So you can actually um, get it to pick out certain areas of, of, of the page. So if you are looking at a menu and you want to know what the starters are, yeah. um, you'll be able to take a picture, yeah, and then it'll, it'll read out the starters for you. So, but I think that's coming in a, in a, a future version of the product. If I if I'm right there, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure myself, but um, and, uh, yeah, it we, will be coming. We, we 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 hope that it's an update for existing products, but but, but that would we, be good. We live in hope. Yeah, we live that in would hope. be the best way of doing it because then obviously people could just get the software update, um, and and away you go. Uh, that's the other thing as well. You can connect this to the internet and receive updates automatically uh, with this, which is a really nice uh, feature of that. So you can always keep the the device up to date yeah which is really Excellent. nice thing. so yeah so that's the orcam read um i don't know if it, laura mentioned much about the other products they do as well the my eye and the my reader but um, yeah we we did talk about those a little bit yeah. as well um but we uh she's mainly concentrated on on the my read the, but we yeah. did talk about my eye um yes as well which is the the the, the, the head worn device with the with, with the glasses Yes. We did yeah. talk about that as well. Okay. So you guys do all, and that's the thing, um, you know, if anybody is in, interested in the Orcam type of technology, then do get in touch with, um, with, with, with Galloway's. We can get you in touch with Vision Aid. Yep. And, uh, and, you know, we can organize a, organize a demo. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Like, like I've been saying yet. Yeah. So any, any products like this, we can, we can do demonstrations for whether that's remotely at the moment or whether we can, come in person but hopefully there won't be any more areas back on lockdown again so, so it will allow us to uh to come out to people because obviously that's a, a big thing that we we love doing and we love meeting people and coming out and uh showing all these new products uh, obviously like this would be normally done wouldn't it <laughs> um, at a show at yeah a show do this face to face and all the centers yeah. and, and all those things as well absolutely I, I think that's something that we're all kind of missing at the moment and, and fingers crossed we can get back to that. Uh, oh, yeah. But we don't know when, do we? But I mean, so I have got one final thing, um, which is another text-to-speech reader. If I've go. got I was time, hoping have you I? were going to bring, oh, yes. yeah, man, I was hoping the, you were going to bring that bring one. Bring this out. one out, yeah. yeah. So, I don't What's know this where one called? This, is this the so e this Easy Move, is it? The Read Easy Evolve. Oh, evolve. So the move was the old one. This is I've the new the one. I've got the old one. Yeah, oh, we'll one. have to get you yeah. sorted out with a new one then. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get that sorted for you. Don't worry. Um, I don't know whether that's going to look. I wonder if I can look a better angle here. Or well, does that look okay, I think? So you just put your, put your camera up a little tiny bit. There we go. How's that? I might be, that I'll, I'll turn the monitor off as well. That might yeah. stop the, br the brightness there. So this is another text-to-speech reader. Um, this one you do need mains power for at the moment. We are working on a battery version of this, uh, but at the minute it's mains powered. But what this allows you to do is obviously read any A4 documents. Um, so it works in a similar way to the Orcam. Obviously, it's, uh, this tends to be a little bit more accurate down to smaller text. Um, but the, the unique feature of this one is we can also do A3 if we want to. Wow. That's the, so, like, the way A3 would be one yeah. side of a newspaper. So it is. So we could yeah. actually capture something this size. Wow. I'll put it off the end of the table here. So we could capture yeah. something, um, yeah, newspaper size. Uh, I could try it actually now and see what it goes like. But so basically we can we switch the unit on, put the document in front here. We've got a guide and there is also a guide that it comes with for A4 as well. So even if you have no vision at all, you can still know where to put the the, Pop um, it under the machine. The document, yes. Just going to point just, out as well, oh, there could be two, two pages of a magazine as exactly well. Exactly that as well, yeah. So like, no. so like here, obviously, if I've got look like one of our brochures, we could set out like that as well. So yeah, as you say, if it's a magazine, you want to read the articles and things like that, perfect for that. Um, so all we do then is just press a button. If I put the sound up, hopefully you'll hear that. So it's beeping because I'm moving. So if I just tell it to, press, to to go. So that's the other good thing. It's got the motion detection. So if it's not quite still, it won't take the picture. So you don't end up with a, a you don't end up with a blurry image. You might have to move your microphone really close. So Hold on. Let's just hear that. 
He's reading just the gibberish at the top to start with, so. I think it's picking up the table, that's the problem. Let me try it again. So, um, try and keep still. January 19, 2020, the mail on Sunday. Don't know if you can hear that. SR 51 underscore 1. Yeah, can the hear that now. Andrew restores. T of blind rug Y player. Breakthrough. Rory Dewar went to the US to undergo experimental treatment. V. I. I think he's reading. Yes, yeah, so it's reading down. Look at the stories that just might be breaking over the coming days. Monday. Yeah. Season. So, uh, with this as well, like I said, obviously you can do the bigger things or you can do just single A4. So we can switch the camera to the smaller slot there. Camera connected for A4 capture. Yeah. So then that gives us as the A4 area to capture there. So letters and things like that as well. Is that Brian um, you've got on there? It sounds like Brian. It is Brian. Yeah, yes. So yeah. that's the other good feature. Brian's is you voice. can You can change the voice if you want to as well. So, You've got various male and female voices, uh, different accents if you want to. Um, you can slow the speech down or speed it up. You can go backwards and forwards through the document. You can pause and play. Uh, like I said before, you've got um, your volume control. You can plug headphones into it as well. Um, so if you want to listen privately, again. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a really good kind of all round units. It's very, very simple. If someone just wants something to put the letter under, press the button, and then it reads it out loud. So it is very simple to use. Um, it can be more advanced if you want. So you can have things like um, what we call a keypad feature pack. So this, okay. allows, this has got a lot more controls on here. If people want more in-depth controls, you can do things like saving documents to the unit to come back to later. So you could capture a whole book with a multi-page capture, save it to the unit, and then just keep coming back when you want. And so I believe, can, does this offer some visual, as, if you can plug this into a, a, it, mon, a monitor so you get a visual side of things as well? can indeed, yes. So yeah. with the feature pack, that unlocks the visual features as well. So you just plug this in, you can plug into a monitor or a TV, just via HDMI, and then it allows you to view it on the screen as well. I haven't yeah. actually got this plugged in, as I could show you, but um, yeah, it, so it, it's the same kind of things um, as, as before, where you could change the colors, you can magnify in, follow along as it's reading. Um, another good feature is if you're using a touchscreen monitor, you can then obviously swipe around and you can zoom in and out, oh, and okay. stop and start playing and things like that. So it, it's basically a really good unit. If you just want something really simple and easy to use, not overcomplicated, um, just as it, as it is on its own. Because essentially want... this is a computer, isn't it? It Inside. is, yeah. So it's all built yeah. into this. So you yeah. don't need anything external connecting to it. You don't need to learn anything else. It's just nice and simple that way. It's running, if you want the more running, running, win running Windows, isn't it? It runs a, a like a cut down version of Windows with the software um, on it. Is that generally this how one actually? It? This one is actually running Linux. So oh, is it Linux different. now? Yeah, right, yeah. We've, okay. we've tried tried to streamline it a lot more. So <laughs> yeah, it seems to to work a lot better. Um, but yeah, as I said, obviously with the feature pack, you can have all the more advanced features if you want that. Um, but yeah, I like I like the feature pack box. You know the the the, the control box. It's very yeah. looks very tactile. It is. So we've got there's a lot of nice colourful buttons on there as well. Yeah, the colours. So if you've got if if you're low vision and you can see the colours, then that's fine. But you've got all different shapes and everything shapes, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they've got different feels. These are these are I don't know if you can see, but these are slanted as well. And you've got different things for navigating through. So yeah, it, the buttons it's all very space, tactile. You, you you could have made it smaller, but I think you've gone for a a bigger pad to, to split the buttons a bit more. Exactly that. So you can find yes. them easier, yeah. Yeah, that's it. It makes it more defined. Um, so you've got more room to, to, to travel around and find what you're looking for there. Yeah, yeah. Because if they were crammed together, sometimes it's difficult to know one from, yeah. from the other, yeah. isn't it? So that's Absolutely. what we tried to go for with that. Yes, yeah. Okay, um, brilliant. So, yeah, I think that's about everything. I mean, I have got, I'll just grab this. <laughs> so I didn't know if anybody wanted to say. I'll just turn that off. Goodbye. Um, I think we're about up for time, are we? But 
Yeah, we've got some we've got some questions actually. Yeah, no that's people. fine. But I just with something like right. this, obviously our, our, our transportable light, which is is quite good. So it's called the oh, travel the bright. Is that the Z? Well, this is called the travel bright. Oh, is it a travel bright? Yeah. Okay. So right. um, I don't know if it's it got looks power like when it, you actually. open it up, it looks like a Z. It, it does. Look, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if you had one of our travel bright lights before or whether you've got some there but we have I a have travel bright too i've i've unfortunately got a, a z light which oh, okay. was my book from the rnib but yeah got a major floor on it the but the on off button is on the top so right. when you put it in your bag guess what happens oh it switches on Bump, yeah. it comes on and then when you pull it out to use it the battery's dead <laughs> so the good thing with this is the button's like it, it's it's indented with this one yeah, so you don't yeah. I, I would turn it on but the battery's dead so <laughs> I, it's that long since I've used it. Obviously, it shows how long we've been in lockdown. Um, but yeah, obviously, with this one, you can change the temperature of the light as well. So you can have like a daylight bright white or a more orangey light as well. Right. Okay. Um, and you get quite, I think it's about eight hours battery life out of this as well. Great if you're in a so restaurant, really on a train, on yeah. holiday, take it with you, get, yep. it, get it out on the plane. Lots of different ways you can use exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. Um, and the other good thing is it's got a magnetic charger as well, so you don't have to mess about trying to that's easy, yeah. get the connector in the right way. It, it just um, connects and then jumps on. Yeah, so that's really nice. Yeah, I just thought I'd show that as well, just to say that we do do some lighting as well. Um, so as well as all the kind of magnification products and text-to-speech products, uh, we do, yeah, lighting and keyboards. We do software for computers as well, so magnification and speech, that kind of stuff. Um, so basically anything that people could need to help them really. Um, and as I said before, obviously if anyone wants any more advice or, or help or anything like that, then they can get in touch with us. And mention that. Galloway's when you get in touch with them as well. Just say, I heard about you from Galloway's. Of course. Yeah, yeah. please do. <laughs> please do that. Yeah. Mention, uh, mention that. Um, but yeah. Excellent. Um, so uh, did you say there's some questions? There is a couple of questions. Okay, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll open it up to the floor as well in a minute. Okay. Um, I know the answers to some of these questions, but I will uh, let you answer them. I'm just going to follow Oh, that's up. no problem. Is that all right? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Pass, I'll try gonna, my best. I'll gonna try pass, my best. Going to pass the book on. Um, <laughs> quick one. Um, how much is the light? Someone's just asked how Also, the, the, the travel, travel bright, that's yeah. £42. Pounds. Right, okay. So, okay. Okay. So, there we go. I've switched back to that one. So, yeah, that is including the VAT because, unfortunately, we can't sell the lighting products excluding the VAT. So, they uh -huh. aren't exempt. So, that is £42. All of the other products that we do, uh, specifically for low vision, um, then uh, they are exempt from the VAT, which is really good. So, if you're an end user buying them, um, yeah. All of our prices in the brochure and on the website are all excluding the VAT, yeah. so that is the price you pay. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's uh, a long, long answer to that easy question, yeah, yeah. There, wasn't it? <laughs> I know the answer. I know the answer to this one. Uh, can okay. Can Irish Vision take any smartphone? So, <laughs> no, because it all it comes together. So you get the phone and the unit all in one. Um, yeah. So you don't have to worry about about that. It has the software all built into that, uh, and the, with a phone, and it's using um, really good quality Samsung phones there. Um, oh. So it's not like a device where you can buy and then fit your own phone. It's an all-in-one yeah. solution. So you get I mean, it I'm fo it. following on to that question. Um, yep. We also had a question. You know, is you know the Irish Vision? Can you take the phone out and use it as a phone? <sighs> You know the answer to that one as well. Uh, no, you can't unfortunately because it's got a. Um, they kind of lock it down so that uh, it just runs their software on it essentially. Oh. So no, you can't do that unfortunately. <laughs> it, Would be good if you could. It's a valid question. A it is very very good question. Yeah, yeah. That yes, yeah. And well, it might come eventually. It might come. Maybe yeah. The thing the thing the thinking behind it is that they. Most people that are wanting to use that won't want to mess about taking the phone out and, and doing all that kind of stuff. Well, they just want that. something there, that's... Yeah, there is that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They just want something straightforward, easy. They can pick it up and they know it's going to yeah. work. That's, that I think there's a case thing. of using the, um, the you know, mobile phone technology because of the quality of the cameras that you get in a exactly. mobile phone now is using that, utilizing that 
yes. um, with software. Otherwise, I imagine it would end up being a lot more expensive if they weren't using a, a mainstream phone. You know, exactly. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously the technology's just come on so far in phones anyway. That's that's why they're using that. So yeah. And can you um, can you talk can you talk about support? for items that are, um, oh, okay. Can you talk about support for items out of guarantee or if an item is faulty or what type of support you offer? Support we offer. Support? Yeah, of course. So yeah. um, with all of our products, um, it's a minimum of, of two years warranty or guarantee. Some products do have three, but I think that's only uh, a few of them. But if you have got a product that you got from us, which is out of warranty, then yes, we can have a look at it. So what we'll normally do is um, we can have a look at it, let you know what's wrong, and then we can quote a price for repair and things like that. But yes, we've got our technical support team here. They actually manufacture and build. So like the Read Easy Evolve, we make that here on our, on our premises in Spalding. So it's all yeah. UK built and everything. But we also offer, yes, like I say, repairs on other products as well. I was going to say the Read Easy is probably one of your oldest products. It is. You know, it's the line of them because I, yeah. I'm, I got one in 2014, I think yeah. it was. You know, yeah. I, was, I was like, wow, this is like great. You know, this product's great. I, did, I think they got it. Is... I didn't know what to do with it at first, but yeah. you know, amazing <laughs> what it could do. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. think this is kind of like the, I think it's about the seventh iteration of it. They started yeah. out like being flatbed scanners originally and wow, then obviously things those, have evolved yeah. from that yeah and obviously they now the ones the camera... that played you a little tune when you switched them on because it took so long to load up they, they played yeah. you a little <laughs> yeah. tune but it was the same oh, tune you couldn't change it terrible for that little <laughs> tune when you turn them on <laughs> <laughs> so, beeps, well, beeps at you but there we go it does all the beeps we so we, we've we've kind of opened the floor to everyone so yep. we, we've unmuted it we well, we've asked everyone if they'd like to um unmute themselves if you want to unmute yourselves guy um you you, you can you can do that um before before i see somebody else has asked a question here as well um david yeah. has asked a question of what is the price of the reading yeah the read easy the read easy evolve so there's, a, there's a couple of different prices for it isn't there yeah, well yeah there's two prices so you've got the basic unit on its own so that's 1695 uh, and then I'll just double check on the feature pack price. Yeah, so yeah, one six nine five. Is that what I said? One six nine five. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. so it's one six nine five for the unit. Um, so just the standard unit with the feature pack as well. That's an extra two hundred and ninety five pound for that. So if people just want the basic operation of it, we switch it on. It reads your document out. You can still have all the A four and the A three reading there. Um, what would you, you? What would you? What would you say? Your best selling products, Jonathan. In, in, uh, you know, in gen general, so kind of general at the moment, the Evolve that's selling really well. Uh, the Iris Vision as well, that's that's gone from strength to strength, really. So, the uh, yeah, the wearable, the wearable device, yeah, there we go. So oh, this, yeah. um, that's that's seemed to be one of our, our best sellers as well. Um, and Orcam, I would say, really. Um, obviously, now the Reed has come out, this is selling really well. Um, but also the the other the my eye and the my reader with the the camera it goes on your glasses they're very um, good as well and obviously a lot of the handhelds because the handhelds are kind of the first step that people go to for magnification so yeah it's kind of smaller uh, we do one called the handy reader HD which is a three and a half inch right. um, device uh, so that's 149 pounds so it's it's a good price and it's a good little unit. Uh, was a reading? Was I here? I heard on RNIB Tech Talk a couple of weeks ago that there was. A, is there a new one called the Mercury as well? Which is like a. Is that one of your one of your ones? Um, it is something that we were selling. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I think there's there's, there's different ones. Um, I don't I think, think that's uh, something we're selling at the moment though. Now, so I think that was like a text to speech one as well. So it might yeah. have been, it might have been. It was they talked about it on R and I B Tech Talk because somebody yes. was asking about, you know, can you recommend handhelds with text to speech built into them as well? Yeah. Uh, and and they mentioned Vision Aid with that product, so you might get oh, okay. Of, make a lot of calls asking that's about fine. that. Fine, yeah, yeah. I mean, we do Still some some others, so we do have uh, like a seven inch. 
uh, device and a, and a, a 12 inch one, I think it is that have uh, the speech, uh, speech built in as well. Yeah. Um, yes, no, the, the, the 12 inch. Yes. So, um, but as I said, obviously devices like uh, the OrCam and the Evolve, they are, are specially made for the text to speech function. So you're always going to get kind of better accuracy um, there with, with, with products like that. But yeah. Yeah. Great. Would anyone like to ask a question? Um, yeah, Jonathan, David Hughes. I, I was hello. wondering, have you uh, any feeling for what proportion of people who show an interest in Ari Vision are actually suitable for it to make good use of it? So, um, with the Iris Vision, did you say there? Sorry. I did, yes. Yes, yeah. So, I would say. Um, majority of people that do inquire obviously we we go through like a bit of a vetting process um to yes. make sure that people have definitely got enough remaining vision for this to be functional for them and mm -hmm. the only real way you know is by trying it out um but yeah it's quite a high majority with the irish vision really um because as i said said before it works really well for kind of filling in those areas of missing uh vision um, but yeah, really the only way you'd know is by trying it yourself. Um, but mm. yeah, like I say, if you've got kind of remaining but, vision that, that's usable for things, then yes, it, yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. than likely that it would work. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good, very good I question. I hope that answers it. Yeah. That is a yeah. good question. Yeah. Very question good. From we put you on the spot here, Jonathan. The thing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. Honestly, don't mind. The heat, the heat is literally on today, isn't it? It is. Oh, dude. <laughs> pressure, hey, Jonathan, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, any, I'm any... sweating a bit. You can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody else got any questions they want to ask? We wait, we wait in anticipation. Yeah. Give it. Does anyone have one, <laughs> one last, one last question for Jonathan? I don't know, I think I think you've I think a lot of we've had quite a lot of questions today on the on the chat. Um, yeah, so. I'll just can, can have a look at that. Just see if there's yeah. anything on there. Do you want me to have a quick look? I've I've, if... I've covered most of them. Um, oh, so someone was can just you buy back them. products if if no longer using? So ah, so so about yeah, buying we us buying them back. So um, quick answer there is sometimes we do depends on the product and the age of it uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, what we will say is that people can always um, get more for the product if they if they sell privately. So I don't know I don't know if Galloway's have like um, no where people a, can advertise. A group, do they? A group on or? Facebook called Sight for Sore Eyes. That yeah, uh, it's Sight a Facebook group. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love the name <laughs> Sight for Sore <laughs> Eyes. Um, and and if you. <laughs> If you go on there, um, that that's like a, a group where people, are selling, where people are selling stuff yeah. um, on Facebook. Mm. Um, but there isn't really... I mean, I don't know. Does anybody know of any official kind of ways of selling assistive technology? Because it's one, it is one of the questions that we get asked Galloway's. But mm. it's, again, it's not something that we, we want to get into. Really. Well, what's um, time, time? I don't know if the new beacon's still going. Um the, we used to, I used to get like a, a, um, an online version because I mean at one time it was a printed one but then it went to online. Um, I've not actually received one for quite some time but we, there used to be a magazine with the new beacon. Right. And yeah. I think that came from the um, RNIB but they may yeah. have um, a similar one that's more sort of um, aimed at not so much the professionals but more... Um, sort of people you know uh in in that way um but i can't remember the name of that other magazine but they they may be able to advise on that yeah yeah, yeah. it's definitely something we need to look into and if you, but yeah. definitely i mean guys have a look on facebook site site for sore eyes and see what you think it's a facebook group um I'm the, part the of macular it. society have something similar uh, uh yeah they, they do have a place yeah. in their magazine where people can put oh yes ads. inside view yeah mm. yeah well, i think you've got to be a member of the macular society you couldn't just you know no no, no. Be re i think you've got to be receiving side view because that's where i've seen it mm. yeah i yeah. think it's i think it's definitely something that 
needs to be looked at and more because I mean I, I've come across some really you know I've come across some instances in the past where someone has bought something because it was right at the time and yeah. then six months later their you know their vision has maybe deteriorated more and then they're talking about you know audio, you know audio supports or something with text to speech and, and the visual side of things is you know it's just not of any use to them anymore. And then they kind of like stuck with that product that they bought, and it's it, it, it's and it was it was it was expensive as it was, and now they're looking at getting something different. Um, yeah, it's definitely a gap, I think. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like like, thing. like I said before, obviously, if people do buy something from us, and then they are wanting to to try and sell it or anything like that, it is worth giving us a call uh, and just just asking us because, like I said, it does vary from product to product. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously like the age of it and things like that. And we will always help where we can um, f- for for sure there, uh, because obviously that that's what we're here for. Um, so yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a great, great, some great questions today. Guys. Yeah. Very good. Really good very questions. Good. Um, uh, I like to ask a question. Yeah. Go for it. Is that yeah. Mrs. But, D? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, the other one they said you do in different languages. Does this, does it do it in different language? Read out. So the readers, yes. So um, yeah, the Orcam and the Evolve, you can have different languages on there. Yes. So at the time of ordering, obviously you can just say what languages you want. Now with with the Evolve, you can actually have automatic language switching. So you can have a few different languages set up on there. So say English and another language, and then yeah. it can automatically detect what language it is it, that you've taken a photo of mm-hmm. or the document is in and then it'll read out in that voice for you okay. it's very clever very clever in that respect yeah yeah but you can with all cameras well you can have different voices on there but i don't think it automatically switches i may be wrong i may be wrong there but i don't no, know whether was that quite was covered restricted when we spoke with lauren it was quite yeah. not restricted but you had to be specific when you speak to all cam about okay. what language you might need yeah, yeah, I mean, I was, with the with the evolve, um, it it has language packs, so um, you can have different packs on there. Uh, I think you can have so many included. And then, if you want extra ones, you can pay to have them installed on there okay. um, at the time of purchase. But yes, yeah, it, I think there's over thirty languages, so it's it's and it's yeah. expanding all the time. Um, yeah. So just double check before you buy, guys, that you. You know, it's the language that you need, and you know, say, give you guys a ring, and you'll check on me for them. That's the most. And you do, you do Scouse for me. <laughs> I don't think there is an a, a Scouse. A Scouse language language there, You've got no. Welsh and stuff like that, but yeah, it's, there's nothing. <laughs> Maybe that's something that needs adding. That's it. A- absolutely, yeah, definitely. Well, somebody did NBDA definitely. with a Lancashire voice, didn't they? There's a Lancashire voice on NBDA. Ah. Is there a Lancashire dialect? Is there? Yeah, there is in oh, Yeah, I can't remember what I've not called. heard that. Be... <laughs> we definitely need it. We we we, yeah. we need it. We need a Scouse one as well. We definitely need a Scouse <laughs> one because then you get your work done a lot quicker, you know. Because you know we speak really quickly, us Scousers, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people from Glasgow do as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, brilliant. <laughs> well, I must say it's been great. It's been great having you on to, today, Jonathan. Really, thank you very it. much for having me. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I think it's great to see new technology and, and you know what's happening and um, and you know kind of businesses that are fam- you know obviously family led as well. Yes, um, yeah, you, yeah. You guys have been in in the industry for quite a long time and um, yep. and I've got you know the reputation goes with itself. So again, just to remind people, you know if you. If you want more um, help and assistance, uh, you can obviously contact myself at Galloway's, um, and yep. you could you can do that by uh, sending us an email. It's talkingtech at galloways.org.uk. Um, you can also obviously get us on the website galloways.org.uk, and if you're on Facebook, you can get you can join our our group, our, our technology group, uh, which is just. Galloway's technology group if you search for that you can add yourself and we will we'll accept you into the group once we've seen you and do you want to give your details out again Jonathan if you want to yes, get in yes. contact with Vision so, so if, if people obviously do want, want to get in touch with us you can give us a call so our number is 01775 
711977. Uh, obviously, then we, we could talk on the phone if you want advice or anything like that for any reason. Um, and we can also send brochures out and things like that for you if that's what people want or arrange um, the, the free demonstrations either remotely or in home. I, w I should say as well at the moment, obviously with the in home ones, um, there are strict things that we're going by because of the COVID situation. Um, so we have certain questions that we ask and then we do have like masks and P uh, PPE, hand sanitizer, all of that kind of stuff. And we always try and keep the, the the social distancing there and things like that as well so um so the other way people can go to our website as well so it's uh, visionaid.co.uk so it's got all information about products pricing all that kind of stuff as well um yeah and we are on uh facebook as well if people if people are into that so it's, uh, i think we're just under as visionaid technologies um yeah but obviously do if if, if you if if you don't want to get in touch with us directly, you can obviously get in touch with Andrew and he can either pass details on or get us to give you a call if that's what people would prefer. Yep. Brilliant. Excellent stuff. Spot on. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Okay. No problem at all. Like I say, thank you very much for having me. And yeah, hopefully the next one can be in person. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. A absolutely. <laughs> thank you, Jonathan. Brilliant. Okay. If you, guys, if you guys wanna, I mean, you're welcome to stay around, Jonathan. I always stay on for a little bit afterwards because people sometimes have questions to ask. Yeah, me that's, that. that's, but that's you, fine. Yeah. You need to make a move. That's absolutely fine. And um, and thank you again for uh, spending some time with us on this hot okay. Thursday yeah. <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> that's no that's problem at all. Anyway. So. Good, good thank you. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thanks.